Oh, by, who, who says this? By, well, harboring, you, harboring, a, harboring Taliban fighters inside Pakistan. Do you know something, Mark? There is so much propaganda and ignorance about this whole Pakistan-Afghanistan situation. Pakistan lost 80,000 people. No country where it supported the U.S. in the war on terror gives as many sacrifices as we did. The only reason we lost 80,000 people was because we joined the U.S. war on terror. Because the U.S. was trying to find a military solution in Afghanistan where none existed, we were blamed. A country that gives sacrifices. We were blamed for the lack of success in Afghanistan. We, what is happening in Afghanistan has nothing to do with us. The fact is that a war in Afghanistan meant 5 million refugees at the beginning in the 80s. We have three and a half million refugees. We had what were the Pakistan Taliban who were fighting against our state. We still have terrorism as a result of participating in the U.S. war. For Pakistan to be blamed, there are three and a half million refugees. Mark, how do you stop? How do we know who is uh, who would go across and uh, and uh, 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 and be with the Taliban? How? Right. So Pakistan fenced first time we fenced our border. There was open border before. So in our three and a half, a half years, we have fenced the border. But please do not blame Pakistan. Pakistan is the collateral damage of Afghanistan. Okay. Just finally, 